What's up guys, it's Leo and today I'm going to show you guys how you can simulate DJ lights in Mac 7 using this new object that came with it called Audio Splitter. So let's dive into it. So what you see here is a simple patch. I have circles representing the LEDs that you find in the light. Uh, for my purposes, the red represents the low frequencies the green represents the high frequencies and the blue represents the mid frequencies. So I ha and I also have uh, a playlist so you can kind of play around with different songs and that's my play and stop button here. So let's look under the hood what's going on. So I have this sub page called amp detector which detects the amp and outputs a uh, a bang but we'll get into it and then the bang is uh, is sent into the color generator then the color generator sub patch uh, sends a, a color into the background fill color then the background color object sends the current background color into uh, the circles let's go and look what M detector sub patch does. So like I told you guys, uh, Max 7 has this new object called Audio Splitter and you can find it under VZ Objects uh, right there. It separates your sound according to frequency range and outputs a number between 0 and 1. Here what I'm doing, I'm, I'm getting, getting a number between 0 and 1 then I'm dividing that number by 5.0. Then I'm checking if the result is less than 0 0.1. And then I'm converting whatever that is out into an integer number, so between 0 and 1. And then I have a select object that selects if it's a 1 or 0. That sends out a bang into the toggle object and, and then into the bang. It sends out into an outlet. And I'm doing that for uh, the mid and the highs. So this number really like your frequencies is going to determine how mu how many times lights are going to blink. So if we look into the color generator side patch, what is doing when it receives a bang, right? It's sent it to the get and the get decides which color it wants to display or send into the background color filler. Here is a green color if the get is open for the green or is a white color so it creates the on and off effect on the LED and that goes the same thing for the red and the blue that being said let's look how it works